Good evening and welcome. I'm Alice Bandukravi. The former head of the Metropolitan Police, Lord Blair, has told BBC London more should be done to help restore the reputation of sexual abuse suspects who are investigated but never charged. It follows the case of the former Army Chief, Lord Bramall, who faced a 13-month inquiry before being told no further action would be taken. Our Home Affairs correspondent, Nick Beek, has this exclusive report. Lord Bramall rose to be head of the British Army. As a young soldier, he'd stormed the Normandy beaches on D-Day. But last year, he was investigated over claims of a VIP paedophile ring in the 70s and 80s. In January, the Met Police told the 92-year-old he wouldn't be prosecuted. And one former commissioner says investigators could do more to help restore reputations when that happens. Whether you're a public or a private figure, to have all your friends and family know that you've been accused of this crime uh, I mean, you've always got the no smoke without fire kind of argument. Under the existing guidelines, when a suspect is not charged, investigators write to them to explain that no further action will be taken. They're told it's because there's insufficient evidence at the present time for a prosecution. Lord Blair feels that phrase doesn't go far enough. He suggests they could say there's no corroborative evidence or supporting evidence to back up an allegation. If somebody is investigated and if the prosecutors were then prepared to say there is no corroborative evidence, then um, at least that, at least the man can stand up and say, well, look, apart from the accuser, nobody has said uh, anything. No, there's no proof of this. Lord Bramall told us he'd been angry with the language the police used in his case and supported a new approach. As someone who has experienced all this, I entirely agree with what uh, Lord Blair has said, uh, that they should not say the insufficient evidence, but say no evidence. It's not just celebrities Lord Blair is talking about. This man from South London was accused of rape last year, before being told he'd face no further action. It would have been nice to have had more in writing. So if I do go to an employer and they say, we've checked and it says you've been arrested for rape, I'll be able to show them, look, it's pretty clear, she made a false allegation. You can't judge me just because I got arrested. But some charities which support survivors of abuse are still worried that victims are not coming forward and believe any change should focus on them. Just because some you know, well-known people who um, maybe have a bit of influence have been embarrassed, I don't think we should be changing the whole system, which has up to now been working. If anything, we ought to be um, helping um, survivors um, rather than helping alleged perpetrators. The Crown Prosecution Service said it had no plans to change its guidelines. The Met Police wouldn't comment on Lord Blair's thoughts, but the current boss has suggested the existing system works. The police are not in a position to say anybody's innocent. No. No more than they're in a position to say anybody's guilty. What we are in a position to say is currently an investigation and there is insufficient evidence. Sexual abuse allegations, new or historic, are some of the most difficult cases to investigate. As Lord Blair himself points out, putting victims first while protecting those who are accused but never charged is no easy task. Nick Beek, BBC London News.